given your work in atomic and laser physics, could you tell us some more of the technological applications, sort of the work you were doing? What did it, what sort of things did it end up going into? Well, <clears throat> it went in two directions, Sam. <clears throat> the first one was in fundamental physics, that using a laser pulse, we could excite an atom into some excited states. <clears throat> And when the, the spread of wavelengths in the laser pulse was sufficiently broad, you could excite multiple levels in the atom at the same time. And the atom then got into a state where the electron, as it were, was in multiple quantum levels, and they added together to give a very localized position to the electron. Instead of being a rather fuzzy cloud as it normally is, as we think of it, it was localized in what we call a wave packet. And it began to look like a classical particle orbiting the nucleus like a little planet around the sun. And this was one of the first times this had been done, that we were then probing the boundary between quantum physics and classical physics, that my work at that stage had been exciting atoms to very high quantum states where the electron orbits a very large distance from the nucleus at a size where it could be visible in a microscope. 